Well, come into any sort of comfortable starting place. So if we're naturally finding our way there now. Put on your back, you can stay. Welcome to a seat, maybe put a block or something underneath. And slowly letting your breath expand and take up more space. Noticing if there's any, any movement that you need to let your body do before finding some stillness. Coming into our bodies, we can just ask ourselves, how are you? And letting whatever answers arrive just be here today. the eyes open or close or just a soft gaze. See if we can feel our breath from the inside. The lungs filling, pressing up against our rib cage, three-dimensionally expanding and gently releasing. Noticing what the breath feels like and where you feel it today. Some words from John Kevinson, his book, Wherever you, Wherever you Go, There You Are. Sometimes I like to point out that not doing yoga is the same as doing yoga. Although I hope people don't get the wrong idea and think I'm saying it's the same whether you practice or not. What I mean is simply that every time you come back to yoga practice, you see the effect of not having done it for a while. So in a way you learn more by coming back to it than you would if you just kept it up. Yoga and life are different ways of saying the same thing. For forgetting or neglecting to be mindful can teach you a lot more than just being mindful all the time. Yeah. So I know for myself, sometimes the judgment or frustration that comes up in forgetting or not practicing yoga. But I love that perspective of the return. We always get to return and we notice that more when we forget. Taking a few more breaths where you're at. We'll join in a seat. Um, if you're there already, you can just get yourself comfortable. Go block. Settling into our seats, feeling our sit bones on the ground. And letting your pelvis feel heavy. Sitting up a little bit taller, feeling the crown of our head. And noticing the space in between our, our sit bones and the crown of your head, that space in between. Noticing the curves of your spine. Sitting in our dignity and link. Slowly you can let your head drop to one side, your meeting or making its way towards the shoulder. Breathe here, feeling more space on the left side. Shoulder is heavy. And then dropping the gaze down towards your belly button. Breathing into your back space, back of the neck. And then to the other side. And heavy head, heavy shoulder. 
then head floats back to your center. And you can continue on some head and neck rolls. Letting the head feel heavy, maybe taking some semi-circle wrapping between by your legs. And eventually letting the head make its way back on top of your spine. Imagine our, our pelvis as an anchor and our head a balloon floating. Letting your hands come more towards your knees so you can kind of pull against it. We'll let our, our heart move forward. Seated cow. And then pulling the spine back, seated cat, so curving the spine. Moving through a few rounds of these, moving with your breath. Maybe your eyes are open or you're closing them. Wherever you are feeling your spine from the inside, the bones and structure of your spine and the flesh and the fascia, keeping it all together. You can let this exploration turn into more circular movement or just moving the spine more towards the back right or the back left. And combine some of the head and neck rolls with the seated cat and cow. Slowly making your way back to a neutral seat. We'll bring our attention to our shoulders, coming into some shoulder rolls. So the shoulders can reach up towards our ears and then drop back. So the scrunching and the letting go. Switching directions, shoulder blades squeeze together behind you. Shoulder blades can settle. We'll extend the arms out away from us and articulating through our wrists, so wrist circles. And bend and stretch through the fingers, feeling through the tendons and muscles and bones in your hands and wrists. We can drop our hands down. We're coming to a side saddle or mermaid seat. So swinging the leg over to one side. We'll place you to the left side. And if it's helpful, you could sit on. Well, actually, we're going to come to our forearm here. So that should be just like this a little bit here. Yeah. So your forearms on the ground. I'm taking a big side stretch. So your left hand can reach up and over. Just kind of lazily stretching the side body here. You can take this floating arm, this left arm, and make some big circles with it, reaching more back behind you and down towards your side. And exploring both directions.
Feeling the fingertips up towards the ceiling, this fingertips stretching upwards. We'll curl the fingers in and threading the needle or threading the needle a tent and then pulling it back up. So gently massaging the mid body and their organs inside. And this can be as slow and gradual as we like. Pausing in these spots. We can release that hand down to our sides. We'll press back up to our seat, keeping the legs where they're at and just taking a bend towards the legs. So a little more compression here. Yeah, just bending towards the legs. A little awkward side bend. And then coming upright and we'll bounce in boat pose. Swinging the legs forward on your hip bones. And balance here. Always grab the backs of your legs if you need. And taking just some dips of the toe towards the ground, maybe just tap. We can lower both feet, hands come behind us, and lifting the hips up just a few inches and you know, a full tabletop. And we can explore shifting our weight in between ankles and wrists, or making some circles, continuing to warm up our, our ankles and wrists. And your seat can come down and we'll swing the legs over to the other side saddle, coming onto your forearm. And side, lazy side bend, just letting that hand kind of reach over. Releasing the hips down, you don't have to hold too much there. Continuing on these circles of the arm and your shoulder socket. And then fingers peel up towards the ceiling, going through our, our thread the needle flow. Inviting any pause. Noticing how your breath changes in a more open, your chest is open or in your twist. Slowly we can release that hand back to our sides and pressing up to your side saddle seat and bending towards these bent legs, towards the lower right. Coming back to center, our knees float ahead of us again, boat pose balance. Stay here if you'd like to tap your toes out of your movement here, waking up different parts of our center. And then both feet come to the ground, hips lift up, and maybe more of a full reverse tabletop here. You can drop the head back if you'd like. Your seat lowers, you can cross the legs or swing them around and we'll make our way into child's pose. You can always place a block underneath your seat so that makes a little more space for you. Taking a few big breaths into the mats, into the ground.
take this pause to invite in any intention, anything that's bringing you to your mat today, something you'd like to remind yourself or come back to throughout your practice. And as always a reminder that this is your practice and to modify and change as you as your body likes. We'll meet in tabletop pose, coming on to all fours. Finding that center balancing place between hands and shins. With our breath, we'll lower our belly, cow pose, chest moves forward, and then curving the spine, cat. Release the spine to neutral, tucking the toes, down dog. So hips lift up. Here you can pedal through the knees, stretching through the backs of the legs. Full palms pressing into the ground, really rooting here. With your exhale, you can lower our knees gently to the ground. If you'd like to have a blanket on hand to put underneath your knees, you can do that, a little extra cushion. We're gonna go through this cat cow down dog flow. So for dropping the belly and curving the spine. Neutral spine, tucking the toes, down dog. Taking a big breath here. Lowering the knees back down the tabletop. We're going through this two or three more times with your breath. warming up our bodies. you are finishing that round and meeting in down dog. And shifting into plank pose. Holding this here for three breaths. Option and always to lower the knees down for modified plank. Then the full palms pressing into the ground. Fiery breath. And slowly lowering all the way down to the ground, lowering knees, our low plank. Cobra breath pose, we'll lift the chest up, palms press into the ground. And the shoulder blades pulling towards each other. See if you can lift the hands up like an inch off the ground. And slower, pushing back to child's pose. Two big breaths. Shifting into tabletop pose. We'll extend our right leg long behind us, toes on the ground, and then opening up to modified side plank towards your right. Our right hand comes back down, keeping the left right leg where it is, and then lifting that back leg up, floating it. So our hands come, we're in tabletop with uh, the leg floating behind us. And we'll pull that knee forward, stepping it through for low lunge. Arms can reach up. 
if you need a little something underneath that back knee. And then twisting towards the right, you can twist open arms or trying to twist with the palms together and elbows pressing into thigh. Untwisting, our hands come to the ground. We'll tuck that back toe, stepping it forward, forward fold at the top of your mat. If you're keeping a slight bend in the knees, you can grab opposite elbows, rocking side to side or forward onto the balls of the feet and heels. Release the hands down and slowly rolling up one vertebrae at a time. So your head is the very last thing that comes up. Arms can reach a slight back bend. And then hands come through center and to our sides, mountain pose. Checking in, brief body scan from the crown of our head to the bottoms of our feet. Feeling the bottoms of our feet softening, connecting to the ground. Chair pose, sinking down, hips and knees bent, arms can reach out forward. And power of your legs. Power and strength of your upper body. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, your hands can slide up your shins and thigh. And exhale, forward fold. Stepping back to down dog. Staying here in your down dog, or you can shift through to plank. Lowering knees, chest and chin, a chaturanga to cobra or up dog. Coming back to down dog. Gently lowering our knees down, tabletop pose. Left leg extends long behind us and we'll open up into modified side plank. Facing the left. Heart opens, balancing. And our hand comes back down to the ground, three-legged tabletop, hips square off to the ground, and the back heel lifts up. Pulling that knee forward, low lunge. Steady gaze. Hands are neutral suspects of tension in the shoulders and jaw and brow. Twisting towards the left. Arms wide. Your variation. And coming back to center and winding, hands to come to the ground. Stepping that back foot in, standing forward fold. Taking some yes and no nods of the head. Maybe buzzing the lips or just anything, but let's. Let go. And again, we'll slowly one vertebrae at a time. This time, maybe go even more slowly, like slower than you want to. Head arriving last. Arms and shoulders are heavy. Try to be standing. Arms can float up. Coming through heart center and to your side. Connected to the bottom of our feet, our connection to the ground. 
chair pose. Forward fold, you can melt over the legs. Happy lift. And as you exhale, hands can come down, stepping back to down dog. And moving through your vinyasa. Again, tabletop, our knees lower. Right leg extends back. Modified side plank towards the right. This time here, you might invite a balance, lifting the toes up off the ground. The foot comes down, our hand comes to the ground, foot stays extended behind us. Three legged like tabletop. You're really rooting the hands into the ground. See if you can lift that left shin up. So, like floating it just like an inch or so in front of you. And then gently lowering that back down. Right leg can lift up towards the wall behind you. And then pulling that knee forward, stepping it in front. We'll tuck that back toe, high lunge. Setting up your stable base. Twisting towards the right. Other way. <laughs> Back to center. We'll let that back heel spin down warrior one. And tucking in with the shoulders. We'll clasp the hands behind the base of your spine, pulling shoulders back, proud warrior. Heart lifts a bit and the spine long. And melting forward, humble warrior. Releasing the hands down. We'll step that back foot forward. And coming up to stand here. Come through heart center and to our sides. Feeling your weight evenly between both feet. And then we'll shift our weight a little bit into our left foot, the right foot gets light. And we'll also have to make some circles with our, our toes on the ground. Right femur floating around in that hip socket. Testing your balance. And then lifting the knee in front of you. If you'd like, um, you can use a block to support a little toe to expand. We'll twist towards the knee, so towards the right. Option to keep the arms floating or grab the knee with the opposite hand. Lowering that knee down. Uh, on our mouth pose, we'll shift our weight into our opposite foot, our right foot, and coming into tree. So we'll just bring that left foot somewhere along the inside of your right leg. Door towards your ankle, 
whatever it is, just feeling that opposite equal connection to the inner thighs, the bottom of your foot. Use whatever arms are supported to do, close to center, or maybe extending them from away from you. That foot can lower down, mountain pose. And chair pose. Keep pressing into earth, arms reaching forward. We'll twist towards the right here. Arms wide twist or prayer twist. You might look down at your knees and toes and just checking in. Same thing with your hips if one is pulling more towards the other. And forward fold. Releasing. Halfway lift. And as you exhale, hands come to the ground, stepping back to down dog. Thank you, moving through your vinyasa. Down dog. Gently lowering the knees down, table top. Left leg extends behind us and will open towards the left. Maybe balancing, lifting that back leg up, floating it. That foot lowers our hand, left hand comes to the ground, hips square towards the ground. The palms are really pressing into the ground as you might try to lift that right knee or shin just an inch or so off the ground. And lower that right shin back down, left heel will float up, and then pulling that knee forward, stepping it through, high lunge. Back toes tuck. Finding your stable face. Dynamic arrival. Arrival in every moment. This posture. Twist towards the front leg, towards the left. Your twist. Twisting arms can come up and the back heel will spin down. Warrior one. The stability of your lower body. Let your upper body float a little. Hands to clasp at our low spine, maybe opposite thumb on top. Shoulder blades move towards each other and the knees towards the ceiling. And then melting forward, humble warrior. Hands come to the ground. We'll step that back foot forward and come up to standing. Arms can reach up. Coming to heart center to our sides. Shift our weight into the right foot, our left foot gets light. And just playing with some movement of the slide, testing our balance. Stay out up to your hips. Surprising yourself or intentionally knocking yourself off the ground. Just this knee pulls forward in front of you and twisting towards the knee. Go to the arm to grab it in. And then untwisting the foot comes down, finding mountain pose, re centering. Gathering ourselves. And 
shifting maybe to the left foot, tree pose on the right side, which should be the opposite side. Equal and opposite force from the inside of that leg and the bottom of the knees. In the breath setting. Slowly returning back to mount pose. And both weights, weight distributed in both weights. And chair pose. Twisting towards the left. They are hips and knees aligned. And slowly melting over the legs. Halfway lift. And exhale, forward fold. Let the feet come a little bit wider than our hips, and we'll come into a squat. So toes can point away from each other. Using a block if you need underneath your hips. And exhale, forward fold. Feet come back underneath you. One step back to down dog. Eventually, we'll make our way into child's pose or a seat on your heels or on a block, but you can go right there or move through your vinyasa to get there. Taking a few breaths to check in. Making space for our mind to come back to our mat, come back to the practice. <clears throat> Getting as a part of the returning. Next few breaths will meet in tabletop pose. Sending the right leg long behind us again, toes on the ground, and we'll open up into our side, modified side plank. Lifting that back leg, balancing. And we'll move our elbow and knee towards each other. Your spine curves a bit, coming meeting in front of your in front of you, and then extending long. Continue this with your pace. And extending, staying here, reaching a little bit further away from each other. And then the toes come to the ground, the hand comes to the ground, keeping that right leg extended. And really rooting our, our palms into the ground. And trying to lift that left knee just an inch or so off the ground, hovering it. And see if you can push this like a three legged dog. So that left leg floats up into the air. Open the hip, letting that bent knee hang, and inviting some circles if you'd like here of drawing circles with the knee. And 
And lowering the foot down, lower the knees down. We'll come in to thread the needle. So my right fingertips will peel up towards the ceiling. And then fingertips curl down and through left hand knee. Coming in to our spinal threaded needle twist. Draw our attention to the sit bones and the crown of our head, and all the space in between. If you'd like, you can extend that left leg behind. Slowly lowering that leg down, unwinding out of this. And taking a few rounds of cat and cow or any other movement with the spine. Tucking the toes down, dog. Stay here through down dog or welcome to go through a vinyasa. Meeting in tabletop. Left leg extends, long toes on the ground, opening our hips towards the left. Shifting into a balance, that back leg floats up. Here you might invite some movement, pulling elbow and knee towards the door in front of you, and then extending it long. Back foot can come to the ground. Our left hand comes to the ground, keeping that back leg extended, hips squeeze the towards the mat. I'm trying to hover that right knee up just maybe an inch off the ground. Three legged dog, keeping that heel up towards the sky. Opening the hip here, letting it hang, inviting some rotations of that hip, drawing, painting. Circles with the knee. You can lower that foot down, lowering the knees down, tabletop, and coming into a thread the needle on the other side. So the left fingertips peel up and threading the needle through. By a bind here and or an extension of that leg behind, maybe an or. I don't know if there's that's an and or not, but modifying this in any way. Slowly unwinding out of this. Coming back to tabletop pose and inviting any movement here. And 
we'll make our way on to our backs. Whenever you get there, taking your time, taking care of yourself. to your back, noticing where your body is making connection to the ground, where along your spine, connects with your mat. We'll bring the right knee in towards our chest, the left leg can extend long. And extending the right leg up towards the ceiling. Hands will come to our sides or to the back of your head and we'll lift the head up a bit looking towards your extended foot. And then switching the position of your legs. Extending. We'll switch a couple times. Noticing shifts in your core. And then ending with the left leg in the air, you can drop the head back gently, pulling that left knee into your chest. When both knees come in, giving yourself a little hug. And then we'll let the bottoms of our feet come to the ground. Coming into bridge practice, we'll do one active bridge and then we'll set up into more of a restorative bridge with a block. Coming into an active bridge, feet pressing into the ground, hips lifting up. Hands can connect underneath you or really pressing the elbows into the ground. Slowly lowering down, vertebrae releases to the earth. As you come into a restorative bridge, you can grab a block or a bolster or a rolled up blanket near you. So lifting the hips and sliding something underneath that back of your pelvis, back hip bones. Letting your body soften around whatever is supporting you. Seeing if there is something you can, something else you can soften. five or so more breaths here. Once we come out of restorative bridge, gently lift the hips up and sliding out whatever's underneath you. Returning to a neutral spine and staying here for a moment, letting everything settle. And 
then bringing the knees into the chest and then to recline twist. Knees can fall to any side, either side. If you'd like to place a block in between the knees, blankets. Minimal, minimal effort. switch sides at any time if you'd like in between you might take happy baby or write some book imaginary wall or a bridge pose or just go right there So we come out of this side, and maybe taking a happy baby or legs up the wall. And we'll eventually be in cobbler pose with the bottoms of our feet together, knees open wide. If you'd like a block or something underneath. The outsides of your legs, you can do that. If you need anything, let me know. Hands can rest to your sides, or you might let them rest on somewhere on your mid body. Breath being our anchor, our connection with the earth being our anchor. As our practice winds down, you may choose to stay here longer. At any time, you can come out of this, extending the legs, maybe reversing the position of feet and knees, restored at rest. Eventually, letting your body take any final 
movements, final movements for now. Offering yourself a body scan. Just gently shining some attention. The top of your head, the crown of your head. To your eyeballs. The cheeks. The jaw. Send your breath to each of these places. to your neck, chest and collarbone, shoulders and each arm and wrist, all of it heavy. Our ribs and belly, our hip bones, tops and bottoms of our thighs, knees, shins and calves, both ankles, each toe, the bottoms of your feet. Breathing in your wholeness, as we settle here for a few more moments. Begin letting the breath take up more space. Filling belly and chest. Inviting any gentle movements into your fingers and toes. Any stretches begin calling to you. Without too much fuss, you can push yourself to one side. Inviting yourself back to a seat. Connecting to your heavy, heavy pelvis, your floating tall spine. Bring palms together, letting them rest somewhere, connecting to yourself. Welcome to bow forward, offering gratitude to yourself for practicing today, these practices we share and our community. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you.